Among the latest moves in Republican-led campaigns across the U.S. targeting LGBTQ plus Americans, Tennessee Governor Bill Lee has signed into law two bills that passed the state legislature last week. One, restricting drag performances in public, and the other banning gender-affirming health care for transgender youth. Lee said the drag bill, which comes into effect April 1st, would protect children from being, quote, potentially exposed to sexualized entertainment, to obscenity. Speaking to reporters last week, Lee, a Republican, also addressed a surfaced high school yearbook photo that appeared to show him wearing a cheerleader's dress, a wig, and a pearl necklace, saying it was a ridiculous, ridiculous question when asked if he recalled dressing in drag in 1977. I think it gets to the enormous uh, hypocrisy here. Michelangelo Signorilli is a New York-based Sirius XM host, as well as a veteran LGBTQ activist and author. He sees the bills as both political and reactive. In Tennessee, they are focused in on an attack on drag queens and banning or regulating drag performances as another way to pander to a base in the Republican Party that is very extreme and is pushing a very hateful agenda against LGBTQ people. Civil rights groups and drag performers have noted that Tennessee, like other states, already bans obscenity in front of minors and calls the restrictions unconstitutional, vague, and redundant. The other bill bans doctors from providing gender-affirming medical treatment, such as puberty blockers, hormone therapy, and surgery to transgender minors. Transgender people have come into the forefront more. They are asserting their rights. As with everything else with conservatives and, unfortunately, the Republican Party, they prey upon um, people's lack of information, lack of knowledge, and people, um, you know, not really understanding things deeply. The Tennessee bills are part of an upswing in Republican efforts to regulate the conduct and lives of lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and queer people. To Senior Illy, whose activism stretches back to the AIDS epidemic, the legislative actions will not have the effect it's, lawmakers it's say is their intention. And that's what it's really meant to do, to make people constantly feel that they are um, not like everyone else and demonizing them. We see suicide rates uh, among LGBTQ teens at a much higher rate. Uh, we also see violence and you're whipping up the very violence that we've seen over and over again in terms of hate crimes.